part three. Got all my supplies. And I'm going to go ahead and walk down this way. I'll probably narrate some of my plans. Obviously, lots of dead wood here. I'd like to be able to take all these little rocks and the medium rocks and make pathways. I know this is a pathway past Sir Totem Pole. Maybe it's Lady Totem Pole. Whatever. See, here's a lot of Mount Mahogany growing here amongst this dead Manzanita. And here's a mountain mahogany that's been dead for some time. <sighs> I'm not quite sure why I even do these videos, because I'm pretty sure nobody pays much attention. See, now this is a very healthy mountain mahogany. <sighs> Family says that if I get rid of all the dead wood, I will be encouraging the sheep to eat the live wood. Now here's a couple of cool things. So here's the base of the old totem pole tree. And interesting stuff. And then here, we've got these little plants. They, they have spade-like leaves. And then they become this weird pink thing. Now they'll come back next spring. That is, that is a wild color. Anyway, okay, uh, we continue on past Sir Totem Pole. Uh, being eaten alive by bugs. See, so here's another fairly, fairly healthy mountain mahogany. It's got a bit of like a parasitic bug that's been eating it. But I don't, I don't know if that's just normal, because I wasn't paying attention last year. Or if it's sort of a, a current scourge, kind of like a plague of locusts. See, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. So you've got these healthy leaves, and then you've got this weird stuff here. Hi, buddy! You're so cute. And then you've... So this is, this is probably the worst case I've seen of it. But, yeah. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one. Just south or downhill from the totem pole tree. It's just very unhealthy. But again, I don't know if it's just a normal life, you know, part of a life cycle. So here's another example of a tree that I'm gonna groom, I guess, although that's now a forbidden word. God, I hate that word. Most people who use it don't know what they're talking about. And the few people who do use it and know what they're talking about, they're lost in all the noise of the idiots. But this is about the forest. So here's another tree. It's been dead since last year or before then. There's a tree that needs to be trimmed up nice and tidy. There we go. That's better than grew. And see again, see how it's all sort of tangled up, this under undergrowth. Here's something I love. I love these old pine stumps. They're just rotting out. They're just so cool looking. You can see a bunch of those pink weird plants there. <sighs> anyway, hi buddy! There's a major rat's nest coming up here. Oh, I'm going to have to confess to Megan that my goats ate her tree literally in two chomps. <sighs> so Megan told me that this plant here is a current. I'm going to have to research that. But this is this major rat's nest. And see in the background, you can see that one. Let me see if I can zoom in. On <sighs> so look how huge that is. That is like six feet tall. That is taller than I am. But anyway, uh, let's unzoom. Hi, buddy. You're so beautiful. All right. So this is what I call the Rocky Meadow. And there was a lovely tree, very lovely tree that we had planted there. See, all of these trees, they're going to need to have some serious pruning or complete decapitation. 
<sighs> and here I'm gonna I can show you some of our lovely wildflowers here. There are there are just like so many subtle wildflowers in this place. <sighs> Let's see if I can find a few others. There's some more of the yellows. There's these little purple violet like things. Oh look at that. It's a velvet ant. I don't know if you can see it. And I hear they they they're also called a cow killer because the sting is so painful. I do not wish to experience that for myself. See, so this is a downed juniper. And the crazy thing is the downed pines, they just, they're cool looking. And a downed juniper, not so cool looking. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, so I'm coming down here because I want to show off the area I worked on earlier today. Now my thought is if I use two battery packs if I use a battery pack twice a day, basically if I come down and spend half an hour every other day, or every day, I will be able to make some beauty. So this tree I did a little bit of work on. And here's a very sick mountain mahogany that probably needs to be pruned to the base. And you can tell I've been at work here. Now I want to I want to cut off what I, I don't know why, but I just think of that as monkey wood, all of that dead wood. So this pine tree can focus on the living wood. But see, this tree is what I'm a little proud of because I feel like that's what I would like the junipers to look like here. And so that's what I'm going to be working on. Oh, here's Buddy <laughs> having a snack. I love my Buddy. <sighs> so beautiful. But I think I'm being eaten alive by the bugs. Sorry about the not so stable picture. But seeing as how nobody's going to listen to this anyway, what well, doesn't matter? Okay. Oh, look, I want to show you that too. So let's walk along here. I'm heading back up to the house. <sighs> In the rocky acres right now, which you can kind of tell because of all the rocks. <sighs> I was also going to try to find some of those purple flowers that are so cute. Let's see if I can find one. There's some other different yellow flowers down there. I don't know if you can see them. Almost fell on my butt. So this is a, one of the mountain mahoganies I trimmed last year. And it's still, it has that little aphid or whatever it is. So it's not perfectly healthy, but it's a lot healthier than the trees that I didn't trim last year. So that's a tree I did not trim last year and it has a lot of girdling from the sheep. This one has a lot of girdling from the sheep but I trimmed it up and it's super healthy. Now is it possible that all of the mountain mahogany is going to be completely consumed by the livestock? Yeah definitely possible. Cute little white flowers. But I think overall this is better. Here's a lovely little daisy like flower. Wait, hold on, are you seeing it? There we go. Beautiful. Still looking for that purple flower. And I'm gonna end this video once I find one. <sighs> they're everywhere except when you wanna find one. They're very subtle though, so they're kinda hard to see. I saw a lot when I was underneath the cedars, so I'm guessing that maybe there's a little bit of symbiosis. Hi guys! So that they grow where the cedars grow. Where the cedars grow. Sounds like a <sighs> name of a book or a song. Alright, let's see. I know I'm going to find one if I look right around here. So oh, I put my bag down because it's heavy. And I'm going to walk over here. There we go. Find one. Cleaner. See, I don't know. Oh, I guess that doesn't help. I don't know if you're seeing it because I'm using my fingers. I trust that you see it. Oh, that's better. 
get rid of this. The goats are eating my stuff. Hey, don't eat my bag. You are incorrigible.